Hi, I'm Josh Davis of Davis Reproductions, and it's Hammer Time Happy Hour. Cheers. On the workbench today is a bit of a personal project. This sword project of mine started almost 10 years ago, and we're now finally getting to the stages of just getting done. First of all, though, the sword is a Type 18B, 15th century sword, and one of the earliest iterations I put in uh, bronze details in the pommel in several discs. And just I wanted to experiment with doing some engraving. On one side, uh, you can see the Virgin Mary, and the other side is my motto mens et manus. In addition to having the motto in the pommel of the sword, uh, I've incorporated it into my overall scabbard design, uh, which I had drafted up quite a few years ago, but there it is. I've taken images from a few different manuscripts. I usually use the marginalia, and then I've transferred it essentially, stretched and skewed it to fit my pattern. And now, why don't we just uh, get to some work? Oh, also, my, my motto, if you're wondering, mens et manus, means mind and hand. I chose that because that's generally how I like to think about my work and do my work, use my head and my hands, and it will make work. At this point, I've now gotten to what I call stage two of transfer. So you can see these little faint white lines. There's this transfer paper I use to transfer my design to the leather. The white stuff, oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I gotta sharpen my pencil now. Where was I? Yeah, so stage two of transfer. So there's this white transfer paper I use. It's got kind of like this chalky back to it. So I wrap my design onto the leather and then between the design and the leather is this white transfer paper. It's a little easier to use this than trying to just uh, press the line through it. And I also don't really like redrawing everything five times. And this is also one of the long, boring parts of it. Because you don't really see much changing. It's just the lines change from chalk white to graphite. What I'm doing now is cutting the lines into the surface of the leather. If anybody is familiar with leather tooling, it should be fairly straightforward, except for I've designed and made my own knife. A lot of this was more speculation and my theory on how the medieval leather workers would have had a knife used. So I'll conjecture my theories. So we just got the cut lines finished up for the motto. Uh, I still have to finish out some of the filigree around the edges. It'll take a little bit extra time, but eventually it'll all look like this. And then we're on to the next phase of it, which is finishing out finer details and stippling the background. As you can see, I have plenty more work to do, but sadly, happy hour can't last forever. Uh, so I'm gonna wrap up this round here real quick. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing some work on these, keep doing some videos on it. Um, but until next time, cheers.